welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Milton and we wanted to talk about something that's been asked so many times and I just wanted to address the topic because it was so inquired about and people were so curious about it and that is the rope leashes that we offer on our boutique and a lot of people always wonder if I actually make them or if we contract other people to make them and the answer is I do make them from A to Z myself in our tiny little condo mostly in the kitchen and in the living room our house is actually our studio and it's everywhere that we do Herky the Cavalier things so we do everything the material that we get are from Canada the cotton rope that we get is Canadian made everything is from here and other material is just from other craft stores or hardware stores. The process is actually self-taught. The reason why I started to do rope leashes was because I was so obsessed with the rope leashes but I could never find something that was 100% the way I wanted them to look like so that's why I tried to make them and when I actually succeeded I wanted to offer it to people because that's the rope leashes that I wanted to see on the market. There's tons of companies that offer them now. There are very few stores that carry them here in Montreal and we're actually very lucky to have our leashes offered in one store in Montreal now. If you're in the area, it's at Doghouse on Sherbrooke Street in NDG. And so the process of leashes is pretty lengthy, if I could say, since I do it myself and I'm limited in space and time. And it all starts with the cutting of the rope, of course, and then the coloring. Coloring is actually my favorite part, coloring or dyeing. Dyeing is my favorite part of the whole process because that's where I get to experiment with colors and come up with color combinations that I really like. I start off with fabric dye that's non-toxic and play with different colors in order to get the perfect shade that I want. And that process is really fun but it can also be kind of challenging because when you throw out the proportions of colors you can end up with a totally different color and also from batch to batch they can also vary which is kind of tricky for example this leash here which is the capri i wanted a tiffany blue color and this one took at least 10 tries for me to get this exact color so that's just to give you an example of the process that goes behind it and then of course all the leashes need to dry before you can do the finishing so I actually air dry them or sun dry them when the sun is out and that takes a little less time but it's not sunny or anything it can take up to 12 hours for the leash to dry which is kind of long and that's why the process is a bit lengthy as I mentioned and then once everything is dry there's the finishings here which I do myself also that's the part that I don't like because it requires a lot of manual labor and it's hard yeah I have to use a hammer and it gets hot in the house so that's the part that I really don't like and then you need to finish up the leash with some rope and then there's a lot of companies that offer these leashes with different finishings a lot of them do the whipping technique is what they call it they do splicing and whipping with the leash I'm not a personal fan of that finishing personally and that's why I opted for this method instead a lot of them do that and they say it's super sturdy but I just don't like the look of it being a bit clunky in my opinion and I really enjoy the look of a more sleek leash and that's why I'm opting for this method instead a lot of companies also offer some poo bag rings and some of their IDs and tags on the leash itself but I prefer putting it on the handle part just because I don't like that the rope gets a bit damaged uh, at least in the way I try to do it I don't like to to ruin and pass it through the actual leash I prefer it kind of hanging on the handle part and it's not really annoying when you hold the leash because of the gravity the tags and the ring always goes to the bottom of the handle so you don't get it around your hand too much so that's basically the process of the leash making. I do a lot of trial and error with the colors and I note everything down in my little book of potions and that's very fun. As I mentioned, that's my favorite part of the whole process. And also our leashes this fall are going to come with a little Herky the Cavalier charm which I think is so adorable. We worked really hard on those charms so we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, the poo bag rings was actually a recommendation from a current customer so that's why we decided to add them. We're always open to suggestions and we're always looking to improve our products. That's why every collection gets better and better in my opinion. And it did require a lot of time to get to where we are now. It was so much running around trying to find all the material and all the finishing tools that I needed to make these leashes. But it's so much fun. All the leashes are made to order except when I need to make bigger batches for example for that boutique that carries our leashes. But everything 
is made to order. So I carry zero stock. I just have all my samples that I use as a reference for colors. But every time we get a new order is when I start making the leash. So it is time consuming, but in the end, it's all fun. I really enjoy making these leashes and I hope you enjoy our products. Stay tuned. We will be releasing our fall collection very soon and we hope you like them very much. If you have any questions about our leashes or about anything really, leave your comments down below and we'll answer all your questions. So thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.